Let's move on. October 1997. Joe Karzaki. Mm. Were you surprised at, at this young man's talent? His, his hand speed, yes. And the fact that he hit hard. You notice that's a fact because mm. I was tasting those punches. Yeah. Fast hands, lots of shots, and they were all hard. He hit harder than Nigel? No. No, Nigel was... Quicker, maybe. Quicker. They, they, they were quick, hurtful punches. You know, um... When he got up off the knockdown in the first round, and you, smiled, there, was a, there was a look at him. Yeah. yeah, well, you hit hard. I mean, I didn't hit, again, I didn't hit the seat of my pants, my back. I felt my back hit the ground first. That's how hard the shot was. Um, that's... His hands are very, very quick. That's probably one of his greatest assets. But uh, he's a great all-rounder, Joe. He's, he can box on the front foot, he can box on the back foot. When you make mistakes, he, you know, he, he punishes you, and he punishes you very, very quick. And I would say that in some of his combinations, the first three or four shots might be light, uh, very quick, but when he gets you in range, when, you, when you're in focus, then believe you me, the last three or four shots are really hard, hard and quick, and uh, so difficult to defend against. People used to label, label that sort of uh, statement of Joe Calzaghe, but Joe's a very, I've inspired many times, yeah. very heavy-handed. People used to say he was a slapper, he slapped hard. He, he slapped Jeff Lacey for 12 rounds. <laughs> uh, you know, he, he's a very heavy-handed fighter. I, you know, I have, obviously I haven't, I haven't sparred with James, so I don't know what his power is like, but Joe himself was a very heavy-handed fighter, and 